So what's up guys, Drifters episode 4. Now this episode mainly revolved around Nobunaga and um everything that he usually said or uh, revolved around him was hilarious. Hilarious. Now, uh, again, episode revolved around the Drifters, the Black King, the Pilot Kana, um, and the Elves. Now the episode starts off with uh, Murasaki and the girl in the black telling him that no matter what he does, no matter how much drifters he bring, her ends will win. And then we go into all menu is the girl who basically in all white with the big tits. <laughs> um, she basically goes into explaining to Nobunaga, Yochi, and Toyohisa about drifters, saying that drifters are taken from the human world and brought there. Ends are taken from the human world and brought there. But the ends detest everything, how they started in the north and how they pacified monsters and moved down to, um, and they basically decimated everything in their path with the Black King leading them. And only the drifters can defeat the ends. And <laughs> um, Nobunaga basically asks, Who's in charge? I'm sorry, but just having this things keep flashing in my mind. Nobunaga basically asks, "Who's in charge?" And Omenu goes in to explain that um, the Drifters are like commanders, and they're basically given a set of troops to fight back. But Nobunaga wasn't having it. His whole um, or his whole deal is he wants to take lead or take charge of this. And he wants to lead the whole feudalism going on. But he doesn't want to lead. He wants Toyohisa to be the leader. And he made some good points as to this saying that um, no matter what happened, the feudal lord will never give up. Even if he's backed into a corner, he won't give up his troops. Stuff like that. So, yes, Nobunaga basically um, appoints Toyohisa in charge. And it's funny how he came to that conclusion because uh, back in the town when they destroyed it, or oh, when they destroyed the knights that were in the town, Toyohisa was sitting in the middle. <laughs> and then a flashback to, to um, Nobunaga saying that he didn't want the seat, so Toyohisa can have the seat. And then he used that as now to um, appoint Toyohisa as the leader. But I do have a feeling that it goes way much deeper than that. Now, again, the ends decimated the um, everything that they touch, and they just decimated the... Uh, the town of Cernides that we saw in the last episode. Then we go into the Black King and how uh, he saved one of his, um, I think, goblin knights or piggies, whatever, whatever it was. One of them were injured and he basically healed their wounds. And one of his subordinates was basically a, a stun, stunned by this or by his powers, I should say. Now, um, he basically said in this episode, the Black King basically said that he wanted to save the humans, but they rejected him. Don't know what he mean by that. Don't know. Then we cut, um, before we get to the pilot scene, we cut to, uh, the Black Knight sends out all of her, all of his subordinates, which is, uh, Joan of Arc. Uh, basically all of, all of the strong fighters that we saw in the last episode, she, he basically dispatches them to, uh, find and kill the drifters. Basically. Then we cut to the pilot. His plane was going down. I knew it was about. I knew it was eventually time to go down. But um, he's being attacked by some things in the shadows. Now, yes, in the next episode, uh, whenever we cut to him again, we'll see what he's capable of besides um, being a badass pilot. <laughs> now, I knew eventually his plane would go down. Now, let's say, I hope he can fix it. I hope he's he's a good mechanic on this plane. If he could, it's definitely some. Some badass, some more badass moments to look forward to. Then we cut into the elves. Elves, um, we get an explanation of how um, 40 years ago, how their land was destroyed and the humans, mainly the town of Orta, the kingdom of Orta, they basically destroyed the elves, subjugated them, and uh, made them slaves 40 years ago, and they basically killed a lot of people. And this is the episode that was like, this is the part of the episode that was mainly jokes all around it. And um, Omenu, she basically has chants that she can put on people to make them under language chants to make them like understand one another. <laughs> and 
And um, she casts one on Toyohisa, and he basically goes in to explain to the land, to the um, to the elves. Sorry, to the elves. But before we go into Toyohisa's speech, Nobunaga, Nobunaga asks Omenu, "What kind of people are the elves?" She basically goes into explaining that they're um, they're proud people. They have a long life expectancy, expectancy, shit long life expectancy. Um. And how they were slaves and how they were subjugated a long time ago. And how they, half of their species were basically killed off. Now, Toyohisa basically plays off of that by saying, don't you guys want your town back? Playing off of the, the whole proud aspect of the elves. And of course, you know, they reply by saying, yes, they do want it back. Now, the funniest part of the episode is probably their age. Like, uh, the, two, the two elves that saved Toyohisa at the beginning... Their older brother is 106, and th those guys, I think, are 39 or 41, which is shit old, and they still look like kids. They still look like kids. Now, we go into um, Nobunaga. He basically tells Toyohisa, or the elves imply that um, since they killed the knights, the town of Order is basically going to be selling on um, backup troops, which should take four days. And Nobunaga plays the expert in this um, episode. He basically says, no, it's going to take three days. Now, they're going to take three days to reach there. And he does seem like a very knowledgeable tacti tactician. Yes, that's the word. Tactician. He does seem like a very knowledgeable tactician. Now, so he said basically has a plan that he's going to kill them all. And... When the um, when the whole when the, the the town of Arda basically sends two hundred troops. Once they arrive, the town was completely empty, and they come to find out that the elves and uh, people are are hidden in the trees, and they're basically gonna leave with everyone's head. Words of Toyohisa. Now that basically ends the episode. Um, I'm mad that I didn't see any more of uh, Murasaki, the guy in white and the girl in black during this episode. And uh, Nobunaga basically, <laughs> I love how he grabbed Almanu's breast and was like, uh, how old are you? He called her um, Big Breasted Glasses Girl. <laughs> oh, that was funny. And I like how they shortened her name, shortened Yochi's, Yochi's name, Cause, cause, because I never remembered. I would say, I are, if I don't remember it, I never say that at all. Never. I don't butcher it. So, I just, so now that I like how they added on the little Yochi part, it's, easily, it's easy to remember, easier. Now, Nobunaga, by far the funniest part about this, Nobunaga was like, uh, after Toyohisa's speech, he was like, um, you reminded me of someone. And then Toyohisa bursts out, say, I'm, <laughs> the way you're looking at me is if, is if you see your son in me, but I'm not him. And he basically goes into the corner and talks to the wall. And Toyohisa basically explains that <laughs> if my dad was here, he, he would have resembled him. And Nobunaga turns around and says, I'm not your father. <laughs> so I thought that was funny. It was, nice. it was a nice little play on words. And play on action. Now, um, next episode, we're going to see some heads roll. Can't wait for that. Some more gore. But this episode was enjoyable. I really enjoyed it. And it was long. Long. Really enjoyed it. Uh, sorry about the lighting. I'm using my shit piece of phone. Uh, but definitely, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Like if you did. Dislike if you didn't. Uh, definitely hit that subscribe button. Um, what else? Hope I didn't forget anything. Hope I didn't. Um, I think that's about it. I think that's about it. But other than that, guys, let me know what you think. And, yes, I knew I almost forgot something. I love the ending song. The ending song for this anime is, I love it. I love it. I always sit through and watch it. Love it. But that's it. Thanks for watching.